Hello my dear students this video is regarding a new topic euglenoids excerpts from the biology textbook ncert national council of educational research and training ncert biology textbook of class 11 So this is page number twenty one. In that we have different uh, topics like dinoflagellates, euglenoids. Dinoflagellates were described in the last video. In this video, I am going to explain you about ex euglenoids. In the next video, we are going to discuss about slime molds, protozoans, and etc. Let us see the paragraph here. Majority of euglenoids, majority of them are fresh water organisms found in stagnant water. Instead of a cell wall, they have a protein-rich layer called pellicle, which makes their body flexible. They have two flagella, a short and a long one. though they are photosynthetic in the presence of sunlight when deprived of sunlight they behave like heterotrophs by predating on other smaller organisms interestingly the pigments of euglenoids are identified to those present in higher plants example euglena so this paragraph where i have uh, i am going to explain you So first of all, let us know euglenoids, the kingdom Protista class Euglenoidea. What is meant by euglenoids? Here, eu means good, glen means eye spot or stigma. So in the euglena, there is a photoreceptor organelle called eye spot or stigma that receives sunlight. and that will be give a supply to paraflagellar body that makes the flagellum to take the euglena to the place where the sunlight is available uh, from that uh, eye spot or stigma uh, this word euglenoid has been derived so eu means good glen means eye or eye spot or stigma in this respect Next word is kingdom Protista. So all the euglenoids belong to the kingdom Protista. So there are five kingdoms. First one is Monera. Second one is Protista. Third one is Fungi. Fourth one Plantae, and fifth one is Animalia. So this euglenoidia belongs to the kingdom Protista. Here, what is meant by Protista means unicellular eukaryotes. So there are two important words. unicellular another word is eukaryote so what is meant by uni uni means single cellular means containing cell single cell eukaryotes u means true karyon means nucleus so unicellular eukaryotes eukaryotes means single cell organisms with a, a true nucleus so you can see this is single cell organism that is uh, euglena so true nucleus because the nucleus is surrounded by a nuclear membrane we call that kind of a cells as a eukaryotic cells so uh, protista means uh, unicellular organisms with a true nucleus so euglenoids belong to the kingdom protista next one they belong to the class euglenoidea because eye spot containing protist euglenoidea means true eye containing protist true con eye containing organisms with a true nucleus which are unicellular also that means unicellular organisms with a true nucleus and a true eye or eye spot so this is the meaning of these three important words euglenoids protista euglenoidea so next one is uh, next sentence is majority of them are fresh water organisms found in a stagnant water uh, what is meant by fresh water 
so water present in rivers ponds pools and tanks is called a fresh water that means they are not marine organisms they are not present in sea water or in the oceans so next one is organisms organisms means living organisms living organisms means what they have the features of the living organisms means they consist of protoplasm they have uh, growth they show development they have metabolism they have respiration they show photosynthesis like that so they are living organisms stagnant stagnant means constant still or not flowing they live in a stagnant water very less in rivers but more in ponds pools and uh, lakes so here important words are fresh water uh, organisms and stagnant next is sentence in the textbook is instead of a cell wall they have a protein rich layer called pellicle which makes their body flexible so let us see here the four important words one is cell wall second is protein third one is pellicle fourth is flexible let us see what are their meanings so cell wall this is the outermost layer of a plant cell so what is the plant cell here this is a plant cell the outermost layer is called a cell wall which is made up of cellulose but what here the sentence is uh, instead of a cell wall means these organisms do not have any cell wall they do not have cellulose cell wall but what they have a protein rich layer called a pellicle so what is meant by protein a nitrogenous molecule that is a body building molecule so our body has different kinds of uh, organic molecules like carbohydrates proteins and fats so here proteins are present what is the speciality of protein they consist of a nitrogen uh, so these are uh, organic molecules that means so here uh, the outermost layer of these organisms uh, do not does not consist of cell wall but they consist of protein made uh, pellicle pellicle is the outermost rigid layer of uh, euglenoids or uh, that of euglena and also other uh, protozoans so so last one is uh, it is flexible so in the case of plants cell wall is rigid that means uh, it can be uh, it cannot be bent but here uh, this uh, pellicle is a uh, rigid and also flexible also rigid in the sense it gives shape to the cell but it can be bent easily as per the situation so here for important instead of a cell wall they have a protein rich layer called pellicle which makes their body flexible that means euglenoids do not have cell wall but that have protein made a pellicle which is flexible so next sentence is they have two flagella a short and a long one means two dissimilar flagella are this uh, in the last video we called this term as dicons uh, here two flagella how many flagella are there in euglenoids means two flagella is there so what is meant by flagella it is a whip like whipple means uh, one which is used to beat the animals that is not a good thing but uh, whip is called like whip like uh, locomotory organelle because uh, this is a whip like locomotory organelle flagellum this we talked about in a bacteria also the bacterial flagellum is different from a euglenoidal flagellum here 9 plus 2 arrangement of microtubules is present so two flagella you can see in the diagram uh, two arrow marks indicate two flagella one is a shorter one another one is a longer one so next to one important thing here is uh, two flagella the question very important questions here what is meant by flagella how many flagella are present in a euglena two flagella are present two different flagella one short and one other long one so next sentence is though they are photosynthetic in the presence of sunlight when deprived of sunlight they behave like heterotrophs by predating on other smaller organisms in bracket i have given mixotrophy it is not there in the textbook photosynthetic photo so here what is meant by photosynthetic photo means sunlight the word comes from photon 
the ray particles uh, sunlight particles are called photons here photo means sunlight synthesis synthesis means preparation synthetic means preparing so photosynthetic means uh, these organisms prepare their own food material in the presence of sunlight water uh, carbon dioxide and also chloro chloroplast so they are photosynthetic organisms so in the presence of sunlight but what will happen in the absence of sunlight they behave like heterotrophs heteros means different trophia means food that means they depend on food for different organisms or other organisms so euglenoids are uh, photosynthetic in the presence of sunlight and heterotrophs in the absence of sunlight at that time what will they do the predating predate means they eat other organism that's why all other organisms predating on others so that's why this process is called mixotrophy mixo means a mixture trophia means food here they uh, act like photosynthetic autotrophs and also heterotrophs they prepare their own food in the presence of sunlight and uh, they eat other organisms in the absence of sunlight so mixotrophy is seen so photosynthetic sunlight heterotrophs predating mixotrophy these are the important terms uh, we have learnt in this uh, sentence so next important thing is sentence is interestingly the pigments of euglenoids are identical to those present in higher plants example euglena let us see what is meant by pigments pigment means light absorbing molecule so here two kinds of pigments are there very important chlorophyll a and chlorophyll b these are the pigments present only in a higher plants green plants green leaf uh, containing plants the same feature we can see in a euglenite that means euglenite show both the features of plants and animals they behave like both plants and animals and they show mixotrophy that's what this sentence shows finally one example is given in among euglenites the most important example is euglena so we have learned few important terms in this one let us see uh, first one is uh, uh, euglenoids that means ice spot containing uh, protist and uh, kingdom protista that means they belong uh, they can uh, they are uh, unicellular eukaryotes euglenoidea euglenoidea means protist uh, which contain ice spots next to one uh, fresh water organism they live in stagnant water uh, they do not have cell wall but they consist of protein containing pellicle which is flexible next thing is they have two flagella flagella means viplex locomotory organelle they are photosynthetic in the presence of sunlight heterotrophs are predating in the absence of sunlight so this kind of nutrition is called mixotrophy and they have pigments chlorophyllia and chlorophyll p big pigments just like that of higher plants the best example here is euglena okay ma thank you very much for watching this video in the next video we are going to uh, discuss about uh, or learn about uh, slime molds